The UN Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, said that the closing of Rafah crossing um, is adversely going to uh, affect the humanitarian aid that's getting into Gaza to a situation that's already catastrophic. Do you believe that's an, a violation of international law? So to answer that question, you have to look at all the other deliveries of humanitarian assistance. I can't offer you uh, a legal definition from here because you have to weigh it against other factors, including whether sufficient humanitarian assistance is coming in through other crossings. If that's, You could theoretically come up with a situation where all of the aid that's going in through one crossing diverts to another. That said, that's not a situation that we want to see because there is not enough humanitarian assistance going in right now. We have seen it increase over the past four or five weeks since the president had that phone call on April 4th with Prime Minister Netanyahu. But we are not yet at the point where we can afford to shut down Rafa or any other one crossing. We need to see humanitarian assistance come in. Uh, and so that's why we'll work to continue to see it reopen. Now that said, one of the things that, that Israel said is, is very much accurate, which is Hamas did control the Gaza side of Rafa crossing, and Hamas was continuing to collect revenue from that crossing being open. So um, it is a legitimate goal to try and uh, derive Hamas from revenue, money, that they could use to continue to finance their terrorist activities. That said, we want to see the crossing open, and we're going to work to try to get it back open. Okay, so you're justifying, basically, that the Israel is closing it because they have many reasons. It's not, like, it's, that's not what I said. And it's not, not at all. It's not at all take so that that's, that's, that's what I said. No. Revenue, you, could yeah. find another, you could find another way to, to open that crossing, hopefully, without, re, without Hamas being the one that is manning the Gaza side of it uh, and collecting revenue as, as goods flow through Rafa, collecting revenue, some of it licit, some of it probably illicit. Uh, when you think of bribes and other things that happen with the... Uh, crossing of traffic through um, through that crossing. So I would say, yes, it is a legitimate goal to try to deprive Hamas of that revenue, but we need to find a way of doing that that keeps Rafa open.